hello guys so this is continuations of test script and here we will see very important test scripts where uh, it says that when you go to any of the products so finally you go to the category page here we need to verify the filter this filter sort by filter so when we say look at here when we say lowest first so six uh, no changes will happen sorry 16.40 will come first then 16.5 then 26 right when I say highest first so okay so I think this filter has some issue highest first is not working so go for the lowest first okay so the price is getting changed and the lowest first how do we verify that the prices are lowest okay so once we apply the filter we have to get the price for all the products and we have to run a for loop and we need to make sure that all next price should be bigger than the previous price right so this price should be bigger either it can be bigger or it can be a equal equal is also fine okay because there may be some cases where two product product price will be same so either you look for the bigger one or you look for the uh, equal one okay so that's how we should verify that so we have to come to this page so first we have to navigate to the site we have to click on this uh, we, you need to come to this page in this filter you need to select price lowest first and then get all the price then you have to compare right so to do compare first you need to remove that dollar so after getting the price you need to remove this dollar once you remove that convert into the integer so that you can uh, run the for loop or you can compare it right so how we should write logic for that so we have everything designed actually so this is the test script in this folder you can see that in product details page i have designed one folder called verify lowest price first filter extends test base so when you extend test base uh, and this is your test name so first we are making the object of navigation menu because we are going to navigate and navigations menu has one method called click on menu and this click on menu uh, will take actually this women menu so this we have it here right this object we have it here which we have designed in the navigation menu so once we uh, click on that we will go to that page particular page and uh, uh, so once we uh, click on the menu okay so go here click on menu so this where you will go you will go in the product category page so when you click on menu where you are going basically in the product category page so we are returning the object of product category page right that is the reason if you look at here when we say click on menu okay so it is it is returning the object of product category page here see now you will understand why you should return the object you are in the navigation menu okay so better give the name also this name as a navigations menu so that you will not get confused on that navigations menu on that navigations menu when you do click on menu so this guy has a return type of product category page because when you click on the navigations menu where you will go you will go to the product and category page when you click on this finally you are coming to this page so you should return the object of this page now since you are returning the object of this page when we create a reference variable automatically we will get the object of product category page now on that product category page we can call the methods uh, select sort by filter and so when you go inside select sort by filter here we are making the object of drop down helper and we are selecting using visible text so we are selecting that right this method we have designed earlier this helper class if you look at if you try to recollect very long back we have designed a helper class so this guy will select then i'm just waiting for some time to reload the page okay then this method get all product price so this method which we have designed uh, this will give us the all price element right this will give you the list of wave element so when you just control and click on this 
you will come here and this is your object for all price product which I have shown in my earlier video now go back yeah so this you will get a list of wave element then I'm just creating one array list of type integer so that you know I can store all the price uh, data into this array list so on this price whatever price we have we are running a iterator right because we have to iterate because we have a list of price so when we iterate this is our first logic while itr dot has next if it has a data then itr dot next dot get text because when we put iterations on this uh, product price we'll get a list of wave element so one by one we are getting the wave element from this list and since it is a wave element we can call the selenium api dot get text so when we get the text you will get that like this dollar sixteen dot forty zero so first if it has a dollar which means you have the price if it has a dollar then the actual data p dot substring of one so when you say substring of one which means it will take the data from one till the end so you will get sixteen dot forty zero this dollar will get removed okay you will get sixteen dot forty zero and then i'm just pretty, uh, printing that log dot info then whatever actual data you will get you pass into double okay because it has a decimal point so we have to pass to the double so double dot pass double we will pass the actual data and once you have a double uh, what you can do that is that double you can convert to the integer by doing a type casting so you can write p1 okay and cast with the integer so your data will get converted into the integer so whatever decimal point you have with 16.40 and all that it will get removed it will be only 16 so that you know comparison will be very easy okay so i just convert it into the integer and then i'm adding into the array which we have created array of integer type so array dot add and the product price so this price will get added so this while loop will have all the price so once you got the array with all the price then just run the for loop okay on that array size okay you run the for loop so this guy will actually uh, what it will do it will check array dot get of i if either it should be less or equal to array dot get of i plus one so it will be either equal or lesser right then do not do anything if it is not then do assert dot assert true false price filter is not working now we have to run that and we have to see that how this uh, test script is working so look at the log the script got executed and this is your log so you can uh, see that when uh, we were printing the data this is the data came okay 16.40 15 26 27 this is the data came and this is your array so once we add it to the array list it became like this and then we have done a comparison so get of i i plus one we did a comparison here right so we have all the data here now uh, once the compare happens okay your test is pass but my suggestion is since you have a framework you should not do all hard coding things here okay so whatever we have written this right this is for parsing the data so actually it is parsing the data and it is uh, giving you the it is giving you the array list okay so what you can do is uh, in your product category page so go to this page in the product category page what i did i wrote two method one uh, look at this data get price massaged data so this will when you supply the iterator into this method this will massage your data and it will give you array list of integer so now this will not be specific to your script now anyone can call this anyone can supply the iterator of wave element because we have written the script which is just verifying that lowest somebody has to verify highest somebody has to verify some other filter based on, and they have to get the data of integer data so you can call you can write this method here get price massage data and this massaged data what it will do it will take the argument as iterator it will run the iterator and finally it will give you the array list similarly 
get array has ascending data so to see that if the array has ascending data this method will take array list of integer type of data and uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, just run a for loop inside the for loop you have if conditions by chance anytime it will go into the else it will return false or once the for loop is over it will return true so how you should call this okay let me let me tell you how you can use this in the test script so go here and what you can do instead of calling this entire method what uh, we can do is we can just call here product category dot uh, get price massage data okay and i will just supply here it that's it i will not do anything so what is the return type of this so return type of this is equal to array list okay so get the return type local variable this will be array list of integer so this will get converted into the two line and it will be product is like this dot verify array ascending data and this will supply the data simple right then whatever outcome outcome will come here a status so let's say whatever data will come let's say it is a boolean then we can just write assertion helper dot update status and put the status simple so whatever you are seeing that everything this line your below line everything will get removed and let me just control x put your data here and everything is going to be a just this uh, just three to four lines so your script will become very neat and clean and i can just put a multi-line comment okay see this is your script only five line right so when you are designing a script a script to very neat and clean in your framework okay so that's how you know you should design the test a script and with this i will close the video thank you guys thank you for watching this